Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I've been so excited to actually look at this painting fully um, and show you guys. And I've had it for over a month. So my girls, or my kids, should I say, I'm pretty sure Lewis was included. I never know. I never know. Um, but my children got me this for my birthday, which was at the end of April. Unfortunately, I came down with COVID the day before my birthday um, and then suffered with some long COVID. Possibly still am. But anyway, I opened this on my birthday. I had a quick look, but I didn't go in depth looking because I wasn't 100%. So I thought now is the time to go 100% looking and to have a look with you guys. Um, there was an amazing couple of packs of fudge in there um, because Sam and Giles or Diamond Art Studio UK did know that it was my birthday. So greatly appreciated. That didn't last, of course. But I have a new Splatterworks painting. I think this one has been on my list since it came out. There's often a few from Diamond Art Studio UK on my list, um, but I do try to limit just going a bit crazy buying. Um, I try to limit sometimes, but when things like a birthday come up, I was like, this is the perfect chance. So this has 39 colors. And this is Mr. Sloth. Look at him. Um, is it actually, I don't think it's called Mr. Sloth. It's called something else. Oh, it's actually not written on the box. I can't remember what it's called now. Is it laying around or something? I've got it in my head. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I think he's amazing. I know it's got lots of the white background again. I am perfectly fine with that. I actually quite enjoy doing a lot of a, a white background, especially when the quality's there. I get into a little zone and just keep doing it. But this is a 50 by 70. Um, the white is 5200. I say it's from Splatterworks, which is the same as a few I've got. So I have the pug, I have the giraffe, I have, of course, Mr. Quackers, and now I have the sloth. Um, it comes with, of course, all the diamonds. Look at all that white. And that does not faze me at all. That actually makes me smile. I do really enjoy sometimes just not having to think. There is still a splatter, because it's from Splatterworks, a splattering of other colours, which is quite nice. Um, but what I tend to do is I will just tip a load of white into my tray and just diamond paint. No thinking, no changing, no tipping back in, no tipping back out. I love it. And I will do a huge batch of that. And then I have the enjoyment of popping in all these little bits that go click, click, click as I fill in all the gaps because I have got it in a square. Um, and then by the time I'm possibly getting to the point of going, do you know what, I've done white for a while, I tend to get to some batches of colour. Now, when I'm looking at this, I actually don't know which way up I'm going to do him. I think I would possibly, I think I'm going to work this way. So I'll work, I, I often work from the bottom. Um, I know some people don't like the fact of having the painting completed coming at them but to me it doesn't bother me I roll this around a piece of pipe lagging a tube of pipe lagging I roll it around that and then I um, it sits on my table before it then gets to my easel and it works perfect for me. And then this hangs over the back of my easel. Um, it's often on a piece of pipe lagging as well. So my easel will be underneath 
like this will be wrapped around a piece of pipe lagging but occasionally if I move the table this section can unroll I would rather the non-diamond painted section on unrolls than the section near me plus I think for this image sideways is going to work best I've got a lot of white I can do some nice big batches of white and then I can have a nice big batch slash some scatterings and then I'm working again with a bigger batch of white, nice big part of the sloth. But it's actually not till I get right up here near the end that I get to see the sloth's face. And then this last big stretch of white is sort of the the final stretch, the I'm nearly finished, and that gives you another bit of a drive to get it done when you get near the end. So I can do that section up there then. That's the way I like to work anyway. But isn't he amazing? I think he looks fantastic. Uh, these are the colours. I'm not going to get them all out because I think I could make an almighty mess um, and I will never get them back in again in the same way and this will be stored in its box until I do it but it has look, some gorgeous greens browns of course I've got greens on the on the stick um, browns in the sloth some peaches then we've got a load of white which as I say perfectly fine with I'll put some in my pot and then to be honest I may just work out of the bags when I first start kit everything up kit some white up because there are there are batches where i'll only need a little bit um but for these first big bits i'll probably just tip a load of a bag in my tray and then we've got all these here as well more shades of peaches browns greens etc but look at him so good he's got 39 colors the symbols as always are awesome I've not had any problems. I really, really enjoyed working with Mr. Quackers. I've had no problem with the symbols at all. Uh, they do also, in the grid, the grid that you then have for placing your diamonds, it is a light grey. So even though you are doing loads of white and the diamonds on Mr. Quackers fit snug together, but if you do have any where the odd diamond doesn't fit snug next to the other one um, which I did experience with the flying feathers from a distance it looked fine it looked completely fine there was no problems but where you did have a gap because their lines on the canvas were solid black that's what you saw was the solid black whereas this canvas is such a light grey showing you your individual squares that if you do end up with a slight gap in any diamonds for whatever reason you don't see it through the painting even when you're close up which is why another reason why i love their canvases um is because you don't get that but yeah didn't the kids do well i may or may not have told them what i wanted but didn't they do well because they got me another Diamond Art Studio canvas. Um, there is no toolkit with this because I ask for no toolkit. It is an option on Diamond Art Studio UK. You can choose to have a toolkit or not. It doesn't affect the price. It just means there's less wastage if you're not going to use a toolkit like me. Uh, the first painting I ever got from them, I did get a toolkit um, to show you what the toolkit looked like. Um, and the painting collaboration that we did with them last December um, for the Zesty Wolf, who still makes me smile, um, we did provide toolkits um, as a standard. But yeah, they do have the option to either or include a toolkit or not. It is your choice. And I chose no because I have pretty trays and I have lots and lots of pens um, to be able to use. But yeah, he will get added to my log book the next time I update, because I update my log book according to when I've done the video on it. 
So this one will go in my next update, which will be August. My August logbook update, beginning of August, end of July, beginning of August. And then he will go into my decision wheel, decision making app. Um, and we'll see when the app decides that he's my next large painting to work on. Um, and I will be happy if he is. Um, but I also have loads of other ones I want to do as well. So I'm happy either way. I'm happy he's in my house. Ah, oh, there is the toolkit if you do choose that you want one. So you get a boat, wax, tweezers, pen with a squishy and a couple of multi places. So you get everything you need. But yeah, that was the birthday present from my kids. Thank you so much for joining me while I shared with you another one I'm going to be adding to my stash that I think it's growing. <laughs> I think my large stash is growing, but that's okay because I'm doing all right on large diamond paintings this year. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.